Is it really true that we can work into Dali number two and transform this into this? So let's see how we can train our own Dali number two in order to start working. And this step-by-step -step tutorial, guys, I'm going to be showing you how we can do this and how actually I did this. So first of all, guys, what you want to do is to have a free account from the openar.com. It's really, really easy. Just provide an email, provide a passcode, verify that, and then you're actually good to go. Now, every time you are here into the actual section of Dali number two, you're gonna get provided each month 15 credits that are totally for free. So we're gonna be getting 15 credits, let's say for example, into, into the March 3rd. But if you want to start working with Dali number two, I can strongly suggest you to have more than just 15 free credits because we need, we want to train the application to do really, really great work. And if this is an investment for you, if you want to use this for some YouTube videos, if you want to sell this, I believe that this might be a really great inversion for yourself. You can figure it out by yourself if it's worthy for you or not to buy some credits. So with that being said, guys, we can start totally from scratch and what you want to do is to actually let's say for example that you don't want to train per se the application what what you want to do is to start working into just one project and as you are asking the computer to help you improve it the application should be understanding what actually you're looking for and additional tools that you can use just in case that you don't want to pay a lot but you still want to use dialing number two to have like the most amazing images uh to get started so if you guys know what exactly is dialing number two and you haven't already used it uh, you might be asking for example that a photo of a white fur monster standing in a power boot room and you might be receiving like an example like this but when you do this into your account you're going to be receiving something more um probably not what you were looking for but you don't have to worry about that i'm going to be showing you a few things before you want to spend your credits so there are a few rules that you need to follow in order to have like the most outstanding images into Dali number two. And the very first one is to figure out which is the actual technique that you want to use. So if I open a new tab, I'm going to type, for example, let's say uh, watercolor technique. And here I want to go into images and I want to see that there's a lot of techniques. There's a lot of images that I can see like as a reference. But let's say, for example, that if I am really into this watercolor techniques, I can use this kind of techniques to create my own. Or well, let's say that I want to look out for some 3D render. So I'm going to go for re uh, 3D render examples. And here I have different ways that I can see, for example, uh, for architecture stuff, for images, for materials, for monsters, even there's a lot of stuff, even for cars. But it's really important for you guys to find the actual technique that you're actually looking for. For example, let's say like a photorealistic painting example. And we do have all of these options. So if you find your technique, you are actually on the other side. Because the computer is going to be understanding what exactly you are actually looking for. So we have now passed into the very second part of our rules. And the very second part is your characters. So here into your characters, what you want to do is to focus into what exactly you want to see into your image. Take a look into this photorealistic image style. We can see a car. We can see that there's uh, this restaurant. We can see that there are some. We can see that there are some trees. We can see that there's the sky. We can we can see that this part of the street. But we can see different styles. We can see different stuff. For example, I can say that we inside here i can tell that we are let's say into autumn or i don't know maybe something like that it's like uh 3 p.m uh outside the main character might be the actual white car vintage car of course so you want to focus into all the elements so you can gather all of them and you can just focus into one strong short but descriptive prompt so if you want to look out for some inspiration, go into DALL-E number two, into openar.com, fast forward slash DALL-E number two. And here you can see that there's a lot of API documents. So you can go into the research, you can go into the API, and you might be seeing how those people are actually doing this uh, in order to create their own uh, projects. And we have just reached into the very end of the rule, the rule number three. And this is called the emotion. So this is just our rules that I've just followed myself so I can just figure it out like what kind 
of emotion I want to feel into my images. So here you want to figure it out like for example this one feels a little cold. I don't feel like this one is like for example like from a horror movie instead of a drama movie for example. Uh, you want to figure it out where you can import, where you can track your image. So this one should look out like some kind of documentary or something like that. So this is the really really important part of your prompt. You want to make sure that you understand these three rules. And with that being said, now we can start working here into DALI number two. So you don't want to be disappointed if you ask for something inside OpenAI, inside DALI number two, and you ended up with something shame, uh, shameless. And that's truly understandable. So I'm going to go into history. And here into history, I'm going to be showing you a prompt that I created and this is something that I created myself. Let's say, for example, that I want to make a design of a tattoo, uh, of a chest tattoo. So I asked for something really, really quick. The very first uh, prompt that I asked for the actual dialing number two was a sketch of a devil head in a white background. HQ means high quality. So here's my character, a devil head. Here is my actual style, a sketch. But here I have the emotion and I don't have, of course, the background or the or the action. So what I try to do is to look out for four different options that best were accurate for myself. In my case, of course, I ended up using this one. I ended up using this one and I, of course, added something else. Now I ask for something a little bit more descriptive. For example, a sketch of school head surrounded by flames and snakes in a white background, high quality. Now I have something a little bit more descriptive and a little bit more interesting to see. So now what is left me to do is to figure out uh, four different options for me to see which one fits for me the best. So in my case, once I choose the one that I elected, I look out for something a little bit more different. So this one is almost what I was looking for. So what is left to do here is just to figure out which is the actual image that best fits for my description. Because each time that you ask for something, DALI number two is going to give you four different elements. So in, so in my case, of course, I choose this one and then I ask it to use more elements so I can import them and I can drag that. So if you want to do exactly the same thing that I just did here, let's talk about the edit an image. So if I have now a prompt being created, you want to go into the very first section that says edit your image and you're going to be seeing something like this. So what you want to do guys is to choose the option that says the eraser and let's say for example that I don't want to see this because I'm not pretty sure what exactly is this. So I want to delete this one. And you're going to be seeing that there's now a new prompt. So what I can do is, let's say, for example, that I want to add like a leg of a dragon or I want to just see flames here. So this is the section, this is the part when you are actually editing and trying to improve a little bit more the work of DALI number two. So I'm going to choose this image. I'm going to upload this. I'm going to hit into crop. And here what I want to do is to choose the option that says generate variations. So as you can see, the computer is not that trained. What you want to do is to edit as you are editing your own personal project. For example here, this one is a project that I just ended up, let's say for example, using some 12 credits. But if I ask the computer, ask DALI number two to do something new, it's going to be generating something a little bit much weirder than we just did before. So I just spent this to tell you guys that it's not about making different variations. It's about working into the same project and spending your credits using your same project. So at the end of the day, you're going to be passing from this into this. So with that being said, guys, we have reached now into the very end of the video. Hopefully this was a very useful video for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, guys. Have lots of fun with DALI number two. Do not spend all your credits in just one day. Focus exactly on what you're actually looking for. And then you can start creating into DALI number two with the tools that I just showed you. So thank you once again for watching the video. And I'll see you next time.